good morning. It is 5.49 and uh, we're currently getting ready. The kids are still sleeping upstairs. Wife is sleeping, but we gotta get up. We gotta go make that bread. It's my week of driving. So, it was nice weather yesterday, but this morning it's like 48 degrees outside. So we gotta put on that work apparel. Let's get out there, let's hit the road. Look at all this mess. This is everything I gotta put in my truck. Got a bag of clothes, sweaters, coats, hats, stuff like that. Uh, food, and uh, sheets, pillows. Can't forget the main one. This is my shower bag. We gotta be extra quiet this morning. Let's get ourselves a water. I do have a 24 pack water in my truck but by the time i get to the truck and put it in the fridge and wait for it to get cold i'm gonna be thirsty so i grab a water with me alrighty let's head out and we are here check that out Two ninjas of the night started up. Looks like my brother from the same mother started up the truck for me. What a great brother. It's about to get loud out here. Hope you don't mind. Let's go put our stuff in the truck. Alrighty, we got our stuff. Actually, we need one more thing, our water. And under this seat, I got a secret compartment full of gloves. Look at that. Beautiful. I usually grab two of them with me on the road. Got three pairs in each. Alright, now I gotta find a spot to park this thing. My truck for the week because you can't just leave it out in the middle of the yard one of these guys is gonna come out and run it over all right let's fit in through here so this is where we're gonna park the truck for the week right behind my brother's truck also got a GMC den alive and here's our load we got Nissans and we got Infinity. So it's a pretty big load. We got a Pathfinder here, Pathfinder, Pathfinder. So three Pathfinders at the bottom. Nissan Rogue here and Nissan Rogue here. It's three drops going to Chicago area. I'm here in Lexington, Kentucky. So we do got like a six or seven hour drive to our first drop. Then here on the truck, we got three QX 60s. These are big units. So here, I believe we're like 1310. But he made it work. He loaded it up for me last week. He brought it home. He's off this week. So it's my week of driving. So I just gotta check my tire pressure right now. Front steers, 120. Back drives, 110. And now comes the fun part of setting everything up. Which is always my favorite part. Not. So this is what we got here. iPad, MacBook, and our GoPro stuff. So I use this for log, logbook all the time. 
This is for editing videos at the end of the day and some chargers here. Hmm, looks like we're having an inverter issue. Let's check that out. Why are you screaming, boy? Why are you screaming? You don't want to work today? Yeah, I know, I know. All right, let's see if this works. There we go. You just had to get a little restart, didn't you? So each truck has an iPad stand like this in our company and really easy clips in. Just plug in your charger over here and you got easy access to your logbook everywhere you go. Might be dead right now. Yep, gotta charge it up first. So got my waters put in the fridge right here and we got ourselves two containers of uh, hibachi for today. And of course the blue parrot 550 goes right here and we got a charger that we got to plug it in. It's alive, let's go. So I was saying on today's route, we got three drops in Chicago, Illinois. First address is 4300 West 95th Street, Oak Lawn, Illinois. Let's put her in in the GPS here. See how far we got. So it's showing us we got five hours, 47 minutes to our first drops, 11.30 ETA time but we'll probably be there around noon and that's an hour behind since it's central time. So we're gonna be there around one. All I can say is let's go. Let's have a great week. We got everything set up. iPad running with the logbook. GPS in over here. Our height is set in over there just in case we meet any low bridges. Our sleeper set up for now. We're gonna do the bed sheets later when we go to sleep at night. But fridge is set up everything is how we like it address is in this is what i gotta do every monday when i get to a truck it's a lot of work i know a lot of baggage moving stuff around back and forth but that is the process of what it takes to drive five days on the road and be home every weekend i switch with two trucks this truck and then another truck and we got three drivers covering two trucks so that's the only way it's gonna work for now but for now, we are done with everything. Let's put this puppy in drive and let's get out on the road. We'll be in Chicago in about six hours. And we're out of the yard. Pedal to the metal, let's get going. These guys parking their trailers or they ain't supposed to be parked. Phew, this thing drives smooth. Honestly, getting back out on the road on Mondays, I expect the truck to be a lot more rough, a lot more bumpy and loud. Turn right on Lexington Road. But in a way, it's pretty relaxing. It's just like a big unit of power. Like, wow, this thing just takes off. For 80,000 pounds, this thing takes off like nothing. Sometimes I accelerate slower on my own 2500 but we do got some big news coming here soon um, we have a couple new stuff coming up so all I can say for right now is we might be getting a new truck brand new truck even though this thing's pretty new it's a 2022 we might be getting something even newer so just stay tuned for that and I'm excited everything turns out well but we'll see where it goes we are pulling up to Cincinnati Ohio and we're gonna be headed through Indianapolis and then up to Chicago last week I was off I had a full nine days off got back on a Friday the last week I drove and then drove out on Monday so that's nine days it was a pretty busy week I got a lot of stuff done had a lot of fun 
main thing that I got done throughout that week was I got four cavities fixed. Uh, I haven't been to the dentist in about six years, ever since I got married, and they had to fix four cavities, so we got that done. I hit the gym every night, so nine nights in a row. So here is our dealership, it's on the left side. I gotta go turn around and park in the right lane to unload right next to the dealership. So let's go to Home Depot up ahead here, try to turn ourselves around. Alright, so this is how we're gonna do it. We found a way to turn around, we gotta get close to this building here to clear the curb with our trailer make a right turn back onto the main road and park right in front of the dealership on the right lane. Ooh, this road is just destroyed. But here we are, making it to our dealership. Barely making it, our trailer feels like it's about to fall off because this road is so terrible. Alrighty, so we're here. I'm parked on the road. There's more space than I thought there would be here and there's uh, two more lanes to my left side gotta get some gloves putting my gloves on and I'm gonna be dropping off four cars here three Pathfinders and one Murano So each car that I got on my trailer has four straps on it and we're taking off the bottom three, one, two, three, and this last one up here. So I already did the other side. As I walk to the back of the truck, I unstrap them, take the straps off and put the straps how they're supposed to be already on the trailer. And that way it gets us done and out of here quicker. Because if I unstrap them and don't put the straps where I need them to be, I'm going to be taking longer to get out of here. Alright, so we got all the straps off of the cars that we need to take off. I picked up the top part. Now I just got to drive three out of the bottom and the fourth one off from there. I'm going to have to do a U-turn right on the lane that cars are headed at me because uh, the entrance to the dealership is over there. And that's a wrap. We dropped four cars here. Let's go get a signature for them and make our way to our second drop here in Chicago, Illinois. So we got our signatures here at Kelly Nissan in Oak Lawn, Ch Chicago. And we're headed to our second drop, 25 minutes up the road. Let's try not to get hit here. Get in the truck. Next drop is one car. Let's go get it dropped off. So we are pulling up to our second drop. We only got to drop one car here. And I called the dealership. They told me, pass the dealership, turn left onto 57th Street, and then pull into the dealership there. So we're going to have to see what that looks like. I might have to back up out of there once I'm done. But we are almost here. So it is. 750 South LaGrange Road on the left. Here's our dealership. It is a pretty busy road, so I wouldn't be looking so good parking in the middle of the road. So let's make this left turn here and see what we got here. All right, and we're here. So far, it seems like there's plenty of space. We should be able to pull right into here and then back up later or actually better yet let's back up into there from here so that we don't have to do a blindside backup later so so we're 
are here. We just gotta take one car off over here. That wasn't too bad of a backup, but this should be quick drop here. Let's get this car off. I wonder what we got in store today for our pickup. We should be loading up maybe out of Michigan. But after this, I would still have like a four and a half hour drive to Michigan. So let's see where, what happens then. As of right now, it's already 2.30 p.m. And who knows what time we'll get to Michigan. So once we're done taking off that last car off the trailer, we're gonna have three Infiniti QX60s left on the truck. So we're gonna have a light trailer, heavy truck. But I believe we got like a 15 minute drive to our next drop after this, so it shouldn't be too far. I really like it when you come to a dealership and there's people waiting for you. There's, for example, when you come to a dealership and the workers there who are doing their jobs properly are actually waiting for you. They're excited for the vehicle to get there. They're doing their job properly. In general, nice, caring people who are doing their jobs properly. Um, sometimes you come to a dealership and you pull the car up to them and you say, hey, I'm dropping off a new vehicle and they're just too lazy to go out and check it right away just because it's cold outside or it's too hot outside. So they tell you, oh, take a seat. We'll be with you in a minute. Like nobody, no, I can't take a seat. I can't relax. I gotta get going. I got two or three more drops after this and I might not make it to one of them because if, if I take a seat over here, it might not work out. So right now I'm parking the vehicle and I'm gonna go find somebody to check the vehicle in for me, get a signature and we'll be continuing to our next drop. Boom, kapow, we got it done. We dropped one car here. Let's get to our last drop and drop these three off over here. I like it when we have an empty truck rattling down the road, heading to the next pickup. That means you just ka that money and going to make some more money. What it's like to be in a car hauler for 24 hours is you got metal steel cage all around you. So it feels like you got a roll cage all around you. You feel pretty safe in here. You got metal beams running down the sides here, here, right behind the sleeper ladders. You just basically, you're in a metal roll cage truck. So it feels pretty safe over here. You're like, you kind of feel invincible, but that's it. But at the same time, you don't want to feel that way because nothing's invincible. But Mondays are the hardest. That's why the first 24 hours in the car hauler are pretty tough. I felt tired throughout the day multiple times. Just getting back into the work, just getting back into the work schedule, just a little bit on you after you took a week off. So I'm slowly getting back into the work now that I'm moving around, getting cars off the trailer and I feel better. I don't feel as tired. So we got one more drop to do. We're about 10 minutes out from that drop. We're gonna head there, get these three off, and then we're most likely headed to Michigan, four hours away to get loaded something from there. See, since I backed in here, it's a lot easier because if I were to have to blindside back out of here, that would be kind of harder. So in a car hauler, you gotta think ahead. You don't want to get yourself into an entrapped situation because that's when you start stressing. That's when you start making mistakes. And we can't have that in the car hauling industry. Yes, mistakes sometimes happen, but if you can avoid them, obviously, avoid them. If you can avoid a blindside backup, avoid it and do it the other way. So now let's get onto this busy road here and we got 15 minutes to our next drop. See you there. And we're here, we are pulling up to our last drop. Finally, we got the drop on the left side here. I called them, they told me, take the next entrance to the left and uh, you should be able to enter into our dealership from there. That's what they told me. So I'm gonna take this left over here. I hope that I don't get stuck over here, <laughs> but we'll figure out once we get there. 
so turn left and then uh, when you see the first entrance to the left turn left into there but that looks like a tight entrance I don't know if we're gonna be able to do that try to get in here told you told you what did I tell you we got to use trailer lift now yeah it's a Thai dealership so we're gonna have to just do a straight backup once we're done out of here and we're not allowed to back up into that driveway he told me but he said all the truckers do it anyways and I'm not gonna be any different than all the other truckers so let's get these cars unloaded here and head out to our next pickup all right last drop just three cars here and we can head out and we are done closing up our trailer now and we are gonna back straight up into that apartment complex and try to make a left turn out of there. It's gonna be a tight turn, but it's the only way out of here. And we're done. We got our trailer empty, our truck is empty. We parked those three cars over there. Let's hit the road. So we're making a left turn out of here. And this is what I was worried about. The trailer is gonna go right into the grass. But at least we didn't get stuck, so we're good. Let's keep going. And we have made it to our pickup destination. We are in Elwood, Illinois. We gotta load up some uh, Mazdas, some Kias. And they are going to Cleveland, Ohio. But my first drop is in Indiana, which I gotta do tomorrow morning. So we are loading nine cars up out of here. The plan changed. Was gonna go to Michigan, but we gotta load these up instead. So we got our first car pulled up here. This one was one of the further ones. There's a shuttle lady that shuttles you if your cars are far away. But we got that one first and we're gonna load it up on the nose. We got three drops with this load. Two drops are right next to each other and the first drop is actually in Indiana so it is currently 557 almost 6 p.m. let's set this camera up at a time lapse so you can see how I load the truck take a little commercial break we don't have a sponsor yet but we got to move up 15 rows that way and it's too far to walk 
those three cars are 15 rows up over there so i closed up the trailer and i'm gonna drive up over there all righty so we moved up a couple rows and i'm gonna finish loading over here so we got three more cars to load up here So we are fully loaded guys, we are ready to hit the road. We got nine of the Manas, four Mazda CX-5s, one Elantra, two Kia Seltos, one right there, one right there, Kia Soul, Kia Sportage, and that completes our nine car load. So we are loading out of the Elwood Yard here in Chicago, Illinois. A little bit of background on this yard this is a big port lots of containers lots of cars are shipped here for example the Mazdas come from Japan they are made in Japan and then they get dropped here at this yard we come in swoop them up and I'm taking these to Indiana and Ohio got one drop in Indiana and one drop in Cleveland Ohio so we're out and about we got an hour left to drive to our delivery so this delivery is only an hour away from our pickup and it's in Indiana and I'm actually gonna have to park at 8 p.m. and wake up in the morning at 9 a.m. well 8 a.m. and get those cars unloaded and get them checked in by 9 a.m. because they don't open until 9 but they also got an hour difference so it's gonna be 10 a.m. so I'm gonna be doing like a 12 hour sleeper cycle type of thing and um, then after that I gotta drive to Cleveland, Ohio tomorrow, hopefully make it there by 1 or 2 p.m. unload, and then drive back to Michigan and load up something up by tomorrow night in Michigan. So let's get to where we're gonna sleep. I still don't know, I gotta go find a spot. Gotta go look where there's a good spot to sleep nearby the delivery. Hopefully there's a truck stop or something. But for now, let's enjoy these beat up Illinois roads and let's get to where we need to go. So far, we have made it to the oasis here in Chicago, Illinois off of 294 and I want to grab some dinner before I park for the night. Oasis, here we are. A bunch of stuff is already closed but Panda's open till 9. Let's go get it. So we are parked and it's time to sit down and enjoy some of this Panda Express. Look at what we got here. We got a bigger plate. Maybe I'll save some for tomorrow because that's a lot of food. We got noodles, mushroom chicken, orange chicken, and teriyaki chicken. But it's looking delicious. Let's dig in. Hopefully we got a fork here. Yes, we do. We got a first bite watery mouth mm. and that is it we got our food we are full let's go find a truck stop and park for the night because I am tired all of these truckers are sleeping here tonight but I need to go park at a truck stop because I want to shower in the morning and I want to be closer to my delivery so Let's make our way to Petra. So we are parked for the night, guys. Yes, it's been a long day. 24 hours in the car hauler. Hasn't passed yet. We still got about seven or eight hours before it's gonna be 24 hours, but I'm gonna spend the rest of that time in there. In my little chicken coop. I got my bed done, I put my sheets on and since i don't drive this truck every week i always take my sheets out every weekend and i give it a wash so it's nice and clean ready for me nice and warm back there that's where i'm going to spend the rest of the six to seven hours of this 24 hours in a car hauler video 
it's been a long day. We started out in Lexington, Kentucky. We came to Chicago, we did three drops, and then we went to Elwood, Illinois, and we loaded up nine units from there. It's going to two drops, one in Indiana here, not far from the border of Indiana and Illinois, and the last drop is in Cleveland, Ohio. That's a pretty spread out drop right there. That's like a four hours in between each other, but we're gonna get that done tomorrow morning. The reason I couldn't drop it tonight was because they close at 7 p.m. and I was going to be there at 8 or 8.30, so it didn't work out for me. I'm going to have to drop it in the morning. And then most likely after that we're going to head up to Michigan. So I hope you saw what it's like to be in a car hauler for 24 hours and I'll catch you guys in the next video. If you're new to my channel, hit that subscribe button. I know you enjoyed it, so hit that like button. If you didn't enjoy it, then just leave me a comment and tell me what I should change next time. But have a great night. I'll catch you guys in the next video.